Um, is this my good side? Yeah. Is that your good Every side? Every side's a good side, sure. Oh my god. Boom, 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 boom. Hey guys, tra la la. Merry tra -la -la -la. Christmas. Oh, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. Y'all know me. Why did I just say y'all? Because you're Let's in Texas. <laughs> okay. Today's video, we are going to do a little bit of QA that Tati has put on her Instagram. So I'm very nervous to see what you guys are asking. I already saw what they're asking. Okay. Well, it's really invasive. Are you ready for it? Invasive. We said, ask us anything. And you guys like went in for the kill immediately within five minutes. It's like, da -da 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 my hands are sweaty. So, <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. You really are nervous. I feel like I am in a flashback moment, time machine. Like we're back in the studio. We are in Los Angeles. It's the same like banter. I love I filming this. with you. Like, I know. So, it's so, so much fun. So much. Um, she brings out the sass in me, I will say. But we have a good time with it. I know, right? It can be pretty spicy. Yeah, yeah. it's a little spicy mm -hmm. um, with our mood here. We feel a little bit bad, like maybe a tiny bit bad for the boys, which we're going to get to because the last time you guys saw Erica on my channel, she was a single woman. I was. Right? This is true. A lot has changed. So much has changed. In an amazing way, though. Yeah. So um, we're going to get to all of the juice, the questions. You guys, like, seriously, I didn't think people can. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you haven't posted the Q&A yet. And I'm like, it, it'll happen fast. Um. Mm. Oh, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. This gets really, like, intense on me, too. Oh. Like, what the heck? For, like, your perspective. How mm. about you pick one about me and then I get to pick one about you? Oh, okay. That's fair. Okay. This is, like, the number one, like, let's jump in with the life update, Erica. Okay. How is your endometriosis? Ooh, okay. Um, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but um, probably in the last year and a half or so, my symptoms have kind of come back and progressively gotten worse and pretty much to the point where they're bothersome every day that I was really contemplating going back and seeing my doctor just because it was affecting my everyday and just how I was feeling overall. Um, but then I got pregnant. I was going to say, just stand There's up my and big show, life wait, show your belly. Show it. Oh, but my gosh. This is how the endo's going. She's pregnant, you guys. Not that big yet. <laughs> no, she is. She's got, like, the cute little baby bump. Like, I was the weirdo picking her up from the airport just, like, with the hands out, like, going straight for the pregnant belly. I think pregnant belly is the cutest thing ever. And I'm so happy. I'm growing into it. I'm getting used to it. So with that said, I'm no longer at this point going to see a specialist because pregnant. And the baby's handling things for you at this present time. Hopefully they stay that way. Um, you know, I've heard things about pregnancy kind of curbing symptoms and Im like improving them while you're pregnant and even breastfeeding. I was just reading about, but then again, I also heard that it can exacerbate symptoms a little bit. So mm. for me right now, I feel fine. I just feel bloated and pregnant. <laughs> so bloated just kind pregnant. of like a normal endo thing. Are you um, having any other symptoms with your pregnancy though? Like you seem to have been just like, no, I'm like, I'm good. My nausea hit me more from nine weeks until now. I'm just over 15 weeks, which is kind of strange. Normally morning sickness happens in the first trimester, but it's not even bad. It just kind of comes and goes in these ways and I just like I cannot even believe this like it makes me want to cry and get emotional <sighs> and like melt and just like be all weird on camera because the last time that you guys saw Erica with me you know for the amount of time which was what like a year yeah just about, about a like year, a year. Yeah, about a year. Um, you'd hear her voice in the background we'd film together and the behind the scenes was you were really going through it yeah and you were like, I will never, I will never find anyone. And like, I want to be a mom. And like, you know, for women, I think that we can all agree. Like, I know I feel this too. You know, the clock starts ticking and you feel this kind of like sense of if I'm in my 30s, late 30s, like how will I find true love again? Like, is that on the table at all? And like, I remember telling you, like, come on, like, it's great to go through this because you're going to get to fall in love again. Yeah. 
And here you are, you are married, mm -hmm. insert photo montage moment. She is a married woman. She is totally wifed up. She is pregnant. Endo is doing much better. You are still in school. Someone asked a question about how's the medical career going. Do you wanna answer that? Okay, we'll do two in a row. Why not? Yeah, why not? Let's keep <laughs> like it. Talking. Let's keep it moving. Um, so I am still in school. I have one semester left. I'm actually currently on break right now, which yay. One semester left, and then I will finish with my master's and be eligible to take my <sighs> boards to be a family nurse practitioner. Yes. And then I still have one more year left for the DMP, which is the doctorate portion of my studies. I will be taking a leave of absence length TBD, but You've that will be busy. I know. Oh one, my gosh. One more like year after hair that. Flip, right. You have been a busy woman. <laughs> yes. So get it, you know? So I'll be having this little newborn in between. And mm -hmm. then when I'm ready to go back, I'll go back yes. and finish that. And I love it. Yeah. That's what, where I'm at. What a life makeover. Yay. All right. My turn. Your turn. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> we might have actually talked about this. Oh, no. Okay. It's been a while. Did you all fight growing up? Um, yeah. never. We, ooh, ooh, we would actually yeah, physically fight. Like, I remember being in the pool and we would have like full blown kicking oh, attacks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we were a little, a little aggressive, a little wild as children. My favorite, which I can't remember which stories we've told, like I the know. Hallmark Gosh. stories when you super glued the doorknob for me. <laughs> And Larissa twisted it. That that was the wrong a bad person. One, yeah. Do you miss Tati being so close? No, absolutely not. Every day, every day, she's not that far from me. I'm really so not. It's, it's just a matter a of like flight. you've been working like yeah. crazy. My hat is off to you being pregnant and doing what you're doing with school. So it's like, uh, yikes. No, thank you. Um, but she's not that far. Like that's another thing about Texas that I really like is I'm central to my whole family, which is really nice. Um, update for you guys also, we filmed a really juicy video yesterday where basically Erica just roasted me for an hour straight. Uh, if you have not seen the video where James narrates, watch that, it's hilarious. I love that video, but this one, <laughs> Erica kind of really went to town. No, I don't think I went that I think hard. You did. Are you serious? You did. Get out Are you of here? kidding me? You're so dramatic. I am not. See, do you see? So be sure to look out for that one. Subscribe, ring the bell, do the things. That'll be coming out probably in like a week. Yep. Yes. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool. Watch it if you want to. Cool. How was Tati growing up? A dork. Um, don't hold back. Why would I? Have I ever? Wait, was I? All I can think about is five-year-old or four or five-year-old Tati with her big glasses on, like that picture, like something on oh. him. Yeah, my Smurf glasses. Yeah, and your pigtails. Mm. How does Erica feel about your changes in eating clean product, oh. etc.? Oh shoot, I'm here for it. I'm trying to learn as much as I can while I'm here. Oh yes, I know. I'm gonna be changing the way I make my coffee. Ooh. I'm going to be going to. Well, we're gonna go shopping after this, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna get some new product. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's actually, it's something I pay attention to, but to hear it from her and have her explain everything behind why she feels and believes in what she, it's a hot I thing. Like, honestly, if you go to my comment section, some people are like, how dare you misinformation? And it's like, yo, there's a lot of medical literature that support much of what I'm explaining as far as ingredients. Now, do I subscribe to the whole marketing thing with it? Like that we all need to be afraid of everything. Like absolutely not. But, and you're in the medical field, you do have some responsibility. If something is not making you feel right, like if you're getting really bad headaches and you're like, you know, I feel like removing fragrance might help me. And then ding, 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 it does. Maybe there's like a light bulb moment of like, I should probably be avoiding this. Well, and Do you know what I mean? Same, it's the same for endo. You know, you avoid certain foods and triggers. Yes. So if there is a food product that is not agreeing with your body and, you know, don't yeah. consume it. Oh, nicest makeup item you have given Erica. Oh. Pretty much everything that is in my closet or drawers. It's you were literally really nice. like, she texted me. She's like, do you have any spare La Mer? Like, <laughs> um, we were on the La Mer train for a while and it was a filthy habit because it is so expensive. It's magic though. It's 
I mean, we were doing the body cream. We were doing the whole thing. But now I have turned Erica on to Ula product. I'll have to update you on what I think about that. More affordable too. Here, you pick something. I don't know. Well, people want to know about your love story. Do you want to talk about your husband? I've never actually like told you a love story. So please settle on in. This is the cutest thing ever. Have a seat. Um, John and I met when we were, I was 16, he was 17. We were at summer camp, our Young Life summer camp in Oregon. So my high school was from Seattle. We went to Oregon and he and his school classmates flew from Columbus to Ohio. So we met, we were just both standing in line getting lunch. And I think we saw each other and ended up striking a conversation. And this is one of the Do first- Do you remember that conversation? That was no, just like, no, hey, I, no. Like, but I remember, I remember <laughs> so like, weird. I remember meeting him and I remember hanging out with him like all the time at summer camp with me at the pool. He'd come over like near our cabin. But yeah, we hung out like the entire week. And I do remember how I, I was crazy about him. And we went home and it was the rest of the summer and we talked via AOL. Ooh. Instant messenger. Oh my, so. going back. So we would chat online like every single night and come February or March he actually sent me a burnt CD because that's what we did back in the day uh and flowers and he asked you to we need a song what was the song on there I don't know I wish you still had that oh what was it was yellow I think is one of the songs no way um, music is my love language. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he asked me to prom and his birthday is in February. His parents had asked him what he wanted for his birthday and he said for Erica to come to prom. So I flew out to Columbus, Ohio for prom and we had a great time. Prom was over and he was a year ahead of me in high school. He went his way and I finished high school and we kind of lost touch in a way. He kind of ghosted me actually. Oh, oh I know. Okay. It was like high school ghosting. Yikes. 2000s. Oh my God. He must have invented it. So yeah, and then when I was in Europe in 2004, he, a friend requested me on Facebook. I guess he had created it because his sister told him, or he saw that Shannon, his sister, was friends with me on Facebook. And so he friend requested me on Facebook. We loosely kept in touch over the years. He would message me that he's coming to Seattle and I really, really didn't respond to him. Just, I wasn't really interested, I guess. I don't know if I felt subconsciously burnt by him or what, but I never really did. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this, this so like the years movie. passed and um, <clears throat> yeah, I got married. He wished me well and we never spoke <laughs> past that. I don't know if we need to have that in this part. I love this story. <laughs> it's a train Honestly, wreck. <laughs> no, it's so good. And now you're pregnant. Nicholas Sparks, Nicholas. take note. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. It gets better. Okay, so he's like that guy in the back, like in that one country song, like she, she's going to get married. <laughs> Um, but she don't want to marry me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but she don't want to marry me. Okay, so <clears throat> um, fast forward a long time, and <clears throat> I was at Tati's on my birthday, and I got a message from him that was wishing me a happy birthday. I think we had become Instagram friends back in October, mm -hmm. and he wished me happy birthday. He never, I never really wrote back. I don't think. And then I wished him happy birthday because his birthday is ten days after mine. And then we mm -hmm. kind of messaged back and forth. Actually, the first question he asked me, he just kind of got straight to the point was, are you still married? Oh, just I mean, let, let's yeah. get that out of the way. And, uh, right? Yeah, no, I, I was not. And so wow. we kept chatting. He played a little hard to get. I kind of did not care. I and did her makeup for their first FaceTime call. So that it took me three months. Amazing. He wanted to FaceTime with me and I, I wasn't really sure like if it was worth anything because he lived in Ohio and I lived on the West Coast at the time. So mm -hmm. May oh 8th, we FaceTime for the first time and so romantic. two weeks I remember we Stop. were at Rancho and he goes, well, I can come Memorial Day weekend. I'm like, you know, that's in like a week, right? Like he really wanted to come out. So I ended up going out in June to visit him, spent the weekend with his family who I absolutely adore. Everything went really well and he said that he was willing to give me a chance. I didn't, that kind of ruins the romance. Just, just a smidge. It was cute. He's so cute. But I he sent reviewed, me flowers, and reviewed. he would text me like every morning. And he came to Rancho to visit. Wait, did he um, really say I'm going to give you a chance? And you're like he I'm texted give, me, I and give he you said, you know, I'd be open to giving this a try. Long oh. distance. I'm like, oh, thank you. I mean, you. that is that, but that is like long distance is tough. It is. Because like, we didn't really, know what was like, going to happen. Feel like, mm, you know. So yeah. he came out to visit in California for a few days. He met my family. And then 
in August, August 1st, I flew out to Columbus. I was going to stay for maybe two weeks and I never left. And now you're married with a baby. Mm -hmm. And when I met his family the first time, John's mom shared with me about a letter that you had written to John (laughs) saying that you were going to marry him one day. And that just like literally, like I flew out to be there for the engagement and like we were all just like, oh my gosh, like this is really happening. Like, ah. like it was, it, everybody was really, really excited. I wrote him this letter in high school and we went over to his parents' basement. They still have a box of his things. And he's like, I've got to find this one thing. He's like digging through it. And in a little Ziploc bag is the letter that I wrote him from high school. And in it, it says, so meant to be. I can't oh begin to gosh. describe the, the way I feel right now or something. I don't know. It says, BTW, we're going to get married. I mean, come on. Like standing ovation, like this. And it all came out of like, wasn't looking for anything. I was really focusing on myself and healing and that's what whoever they is, that's what they say is that, you know, this kind of stuff intervenes in life when you least expect it. Yeah. Sorry, that was a little long winded. Gonna be a mommy and school's going well. So Mm -hmm. you are just, you're doing great. Oh, they want to know what's your favorite makeup item. Hmm. What do I always do? Do you have a favorite? I don't know if I do have a favorite. I know you Because I'm constantly trying new things. You're obsessed with the La Mer Foundation for a while. That's it. I just, I haven't purchased it. Nice. La Mer Foundation is amazing. It is insanely pricey. La Mer um, Foundation. La Mer. We La Mer. Love La Mer. I love everything La Mer. And I'm um, sorry. I don't know if it's clean or not. Well, we Lawless. Can't, we can't win them all. Tati's been Lawless. doing my makeup with Lawless since I've been visiting her. Concealer. And it is... The concealer, the eyeshadow, amazing. This is what we're both wearing today. This is the Winter Beach Palette. Oh my gosh. The browns in here are so blendable, so stunning. Like we're obsessed, Yeah. right? And then I love it. I was asked, what are you both wearing on your lips? So I want to share with you guys. Patrick Ta, we're, we're rocking a wild pathway right now because it will chap your lips up. I've said this. This is like one of those things oh, where you're like, yeah, you're yeah. like, you know what? It's good for a day or two. And then you better be like this with your chapstick. But it's so glossy and it lasts. So I really like filming with it because it stays looking really, really wet. And then this Honey Bee Gardens Island Spice is legit my favorite, favorite lip liner right now. It's so good. So creamy. Mm-hmm. And then to add a little bit of brightness to kind of shape out the lip, we are using a little bit of buxom in white Russian. Oh, one thing. Oh. Oh, is that your favorite? Painterly. I actually have... Oh, I'm going to be in trouble for this one. Why? Because I have the painterly pot that she gave me like two years ago. (laughs) It's almost gone. Ma'am. I use it literally... I literally use this every day. Every day. I don't... Trust anything else. I mean, Urban Expo- Decay is really good too. I know. Oh, what changes have you seen in Tati since she decided to return to YouTube? I don't give a f- <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> kind of, right? I mean, look, you're, I mean, we talked about this also. We've really caught up in the past couple of days, but she seems so, so much more relaxed and almost as if you're not under so much pressure, even though I know you yeah. are and you have other stuff going on, but you just don't seem so stressed about filming or I know timing of it or how many videos you need to get done. I think you're in your space, you're in your environment, you feel more comfortable and it's not as like, you don't have to be as perfect. I know, right? Yeah. That kind of went out the window. Oh, oh, are we going to talk about Dramageddon? Hmm. What are they asking? Because shoot, you literally were there for it. Like she was there the times that I literally was just like heaving, crying, like borderline yep. vomiting. Like it was bad. It's something that no one can prepare you for to have that level of attack. And I don't even care. It like, was you, crazy. Like, what are they asking? How was it? And also, let me let me just say one more thing. There's a lot you guys don't know. I'll leave it at that. Uh, how was it from your family's perspective when drama getting happened? Crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know that there's really words for it, but it affected everybody. It was just uncomfortable. And for me personally, it was really hard to sit back and watch like everything kind of just go up in flames and not be able to defend you. Cause there's, like she just said, there's so much that people don't know. And I'm just sitting there and like, but that's not, that's not what's happening. That's not true. And I just wanted to come to your rescue, but there was nothing I could do. I was kind of helpless. Mm-hmm. 
So I just had to sit back and watch. And it's heartbreaking. Like we would be at the house in California and I know you're looking on Twitter and reading stuff you shouldn't be reading. And all I want to do is like, I would just go and sit in the room with you and like, yeah, not talk, but yeah. I don't know. Like it was hard. You kind of crawled into the shell and like, I couldn't like pull you out. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like relentless on all sides yeah. for the longest time. I could never find the correct way to, and I still haven't to get my side of things out there. Yeah. Like I was not in the right headspace, clearly, um, when people were quite literally telling me how to kill myself every day. Like, yeah, no one deserves that. Like, no matter what you've done, like, no one deserves that, period. And that's like the ugly side of the internet. It's if, actually really you know, scary. <laughs> it is. I mean, people are vicious, dude. Yeah. Like, about everything. It's really, really crazy. Okay. Don't believe everything that's on the internet. Just no. kind of. FYI. If you could bring only one makeup, skincare, or skincare item to to a dessert island, I want to go there. <laughs> what would it be? One item only. Moisturizer. Moisturizer? I hate it when my skin feels dry. I hate it. Especially if it's an island, it means it's going to be sunny. So Right? If I'm on an island, I'm bringing some beef tallow. I can use it for chapstick. I can put it um, in my hair, my nails, body lotion, face lotion. Depending on the brand, I could like cook with it. No. Just a whole nother level. Right? Do you have a favorite childhood memory together? <laughs> I mean, were we really friends when we were kids? We were. Really? My favorite memory is seeing grandma try to stop you from diving into a kiddie pool. <laughs> <laughs> Off the yeah. railing in our backyard. <laughs> a railing in the backyard. Oh my literally gosh. Literally like this. And was like, because we were watching Olympics that year and you're like, hunched over like you literally looked like you were about to go for it and she ran outside and was like stop <laughs> i don't know how we did it we were, must have been so tiny but we really liked swimming so, we had, like, so in that pool little swimming like, pool we would do laps we would um right? throw barbies in there and then yeah. we would like try and we would swim in a circle mm -hmm. and we try and capture all the barbies just kind of yeah. like diving for pennies or nickels whatever right we did that too oh my gosh the stuff that you would do as kids not having the internet right mm -hmm. tati is perfect um, but tell us something you don't like or that is annoying about Tom. What an annoying about Oh, like I'm going to. What I don't like about you. That it's annoying about you? Is when I dress up and don't tell you and you come over and you're like, great. Honestly, we I was that a little worried because we went to dry bar yesterday we do that and I've each other. literally been living in leggings and like, I don't know, stretchy shirts, whatever. And I'm like, I don't have heels. And we used to go to dry bar all the time and I used to dress cute and yep. wear heels all the time. And so I come downstairs and like, no makeup. Is she going to wear makeup? She's ready and she puts on her heels. I'm like, we're no. very tribal like this. Like this is the sister life though, because there's four of us and when we all get together, if someone doesn't get the memo, like we're going out to dinner, like do your hair or whatever. And they show up with like the bun and sweatpants and mm -hmm. it's like, great. Thanks a lot, guys. You I know? can be comfortable like, too. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Do you know what you do do? What? Oh, shoot. Man. And it's not necessarily like bad because I enjoy the music that she listens to. But if there's a new album. Laughing with my feet no. and If there's lap. a, <laughs> stop. there's a new album or a new song that comes out, we listen to it every minute we're in the car on repeat. What, you're not into Taylor Swift right I now? mean, we've driven maybe three, four times. Well, maybe four maybe times we've been in the night. car and we've literally listened to. You know, I, I, I like it. I, I, I'm saying I love the music, but you just literally, that's all you listen to is what's new. But Taylor Swift, like I do like her new album. Like we'll be doing makeup. I'm playing it again. We're in the car. We're listening to it again. No, it's you know? fine. Like, I don't know why I say it. It's not like I don't, I dislike this about you because like I said, third time, I like the same music you do. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe that doesn't count. I'm more serious about music. Though. Yeah. Music is life. I like music more than makeup. That says a lot. I need to unpack that piano. I was just going to say, you right? need to start playing I'm the piano I'm ready. Again. I'm ready. I started writing again, and that was new. So I'm like, ah, oh, thank you, God. You know, my my poetry is yeah. coming back. So I got to get that piano out. Um, worst makeup trend, in your opinion? Um, the eyebrows that – maybe I've said this before. Like, I like – fluffing my eyebrows and sometimes mm -hmm. like fluffed a little bit more than like my natural arch. Mm -hmm. But when they're so insane and like sticking straight, like the hairs are long and they stick straight up, there's an influencer that I follow, I will not say, but like, oof, you gotta stop oof. doing that. Okay, um, celebrity crushes, I'll go first. I had a long conversation recently about like my first love, like my diehard first crush. Where I was like, oh, like, 
I have feelings that are like nice, warm feelings. And um, it was Fritz from Nutcracker Fantasy. Really? Yeah, I was in love with a claymation doll. Oh, my gosh. And the, and the kid from Free Willy. <laughs> I had a poster in my room. Mine was Devin Sawa. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, my gosh. Devin Casper. Sa- from Casper. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, my God. I would watch the end of that movie and I would just be like, I can't wait to be in love. Like, everything else is trash. And I just need to find my love right now, you know? Yeah. That's a, that was a cute movie. Okay. Yeah. I think that we've been going for a really long time. So as much as we could just sit here and chat all evening, we actually have places to be. We're going to Sephora and Ulta and enjoying the rest of Erica's visit. But thank you for yeah. being here. Thank you for having me. Yes. I'm so, I was so excited to film. Yes. So. And um, anytime. I love having her on my channel. Go follow her IG to see the bump growing. I'll try not to be that annoying pregnant woman, but I make no No, promises. I love it. <laughs> I am so here for it. So yeah. um, you guys... Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and look out for our additional bonus upcoming video where I'm doing my makeup quite beautifully, I might add, and Erica is giving her um, step-by-step, play-by-play narration of it. So did the best I could. You did great. All right, go have a good one, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.